Hey, Andrew and Susanna here. We've just gotten married and we're living out of this van right here that we've converted this summer. And uh, anyways, our family's been asking us some questions, asking us to set up a YouTube channel so they could follow us along. So here it is. This is that YouTube channel. And our first video here together is we're going to uh, give you a tour of our home. All right, so come on in. Right here, first things first, we got our home sweet home sign. This is one of the first additions that Susanna actually made to the van. And uh, let me go ahead and kick my shoes off. Um, kind of show you this from the outside here. We've got the whole countertop area here, but this part flips up and it's really stable. So this is where we'll typically put our air fryer on. Uh, more on that later, I'll show you about that. Anyways, you can go ahead and come on in. Uh, first thing over here, uh, the van is a work in progress. We're going to put some uh, shiplap, in, uh, shiplap boards up here so it's hung in groove pine so that way it'll have kind of that cabin feel to it. And uh, over here we'll put some sort of like contact paper or wallpaper or something to spruce this piece of plywood up a bit. Uh, sheep's wool insulation so it's not toxic uh, by Havelock Wool. So one of their uh, actual selling points on Instagram they have a picture of them like holding a child up to the actual insulation so we didn't want anything toxic like fiberglass floating around and getting in our lungs and so that's pretty key on that this right here it's our couch but it's also our refrigerator freezer combo unit it's a Dometic I believe it's the CFX 95 and so uh, you can set it up dual zone, uh, one side would be freezer, one side would be refrigerator. And that's how we have it set up right now. But you can also have it set up to be both freezer or both refrigerator. Uh, coming in the van a bit further, we've got right here, our, uh, we got under cabinet lighting installed over here. And uh, this is our Breville Barista Express. This is uh, our espresso machine, so we use that a lot. And we got a pretty deep sink going on right here. So we can actually efficiently wash dishes. We're living this full time. Mirror I installed behind the sink. That's a must for us here. And um, right here we got two uh, USB quick charging point uh, ports, 3.0. And we've got a 12 volt regular like cigarette lighter style outlet. And we've got our monitor screen for our solar so we can see like what our batteries are at, I should say. Uh, this right here is the switch for our Renergy inverter, but I'll uh, get more on that for you when we go into the electrical system. This right here, this is our shower. And so we've got, uh, we just caulked it out today so it's not set up how we normally would have it. Normally we actually have our toilet in here too. And this uh, exhaust hose actually will exhaust the uh, fumes from the toilet it's a composting toilet out the bottom of the van through that drain point so that's a really cool feature to have uh, this is the Nautilus retractable uh, shower door and it's actually got a squeegee built in on the back so that way it cleans itself off as it retracts and then you're not getting hit by a curtain every time you're trying to take a shower I mean I, I don't know about you but I hate that feeling so we have a couple ways of cooking here in the van. We've got the air fryer here, which this is the Ninja Foodie. It was actually a wedding present. We're very happy with this. I actually designed the whole solar system and battery storage around being able to operate this specific unit here. So we're very, very happy that it works great. Uh, our second method of cooking right here is this, um, it says Coleman right here, but that's just the fuel we're using. This is the jet boil. I think it's called the flash. It's got one of those cups that goes on it, boils the water really quickly. And then this is the pot support attachment. So that way we can have our frying pan and our actual pot that we use uh, for cooking on, on top of that. Okay, up here is our bedroom. One of my favorite spots. It's a nice comfy spot. We like to play games back here in the evening. And we usually sit back here and have our dinner. It's nice and cozy. Um, over here is our clothes cabinet. We got these really cool um, packing cubes from Amazon, which really helps store our clothes and they don't all fall out of the cabinet when we're driving. I have some extra storage up here and our extra blankets. We have our fairy lights and just some decorations and a remote over here so we can turn the lights on and off. 
and our ceiling fan that can take the air in or out and we can open and close it here and we can have our pretty view. So back here it's kind of a mess right now but I'll go over the basics with you. On this side uh, behind all of this we have a 30 gallon fresh water tank and that is supplied by this unit right here. This is called the Nomad and it's by a company called Clear Source. It actually has the ability of filtering the water right out of a stream or a lake or a pond and I filter that water and put it right into my uh, fresh water tank and I feel comfortable drinking that water so I'm very happy about that and uh, over here we've got more storage spots my tools um, some more insulation like I said it is a work in progress right now uh, flipping over to this side we have a 15 I'm sorry a 10 liter uh, diesel tank right here and so that um, that diesel tank that's uh, for our diesel heater because the van itself is actually gas but we do heat with diesel and so we can control that from the inside on this side we've got three 100 amp hour lithium batteries so that is uh, 300 amp hours of lithium battery storage at 12 volts and our charge controller is right here on this wall so at any point in time i can come out here and i can check the screen see how many uh, amps and how many watts we're getting as far as the solar is concerned on the roof, we do have three uh, Canadian solar solar panels totaling to about 765 watts of solar up on the roof. Thanks for watching our first uh, YouTube video on this channel and the tour of our van. And uh, we're currently up in Vermont doing a fall foliage tour. And uh, so look forward to making some more videos and putting them out here. I don't know if it'll be about foliage or something else, but we're excited.